Folks, we've got lots to discuss. AMC doubled in the after hours on Friday, and many people are calling once again for a massive, massive short squeeze. In fact, one of the biggest reasons the stock has been beaten down so much has now officially been shot down by a judge. This is combining to make what could be a perfect storm for AMC stock. We will discuss the setup and everything you need to know before tomorrow, and why this might be a really, really small, but powerful window of opportunity for AMC bulls. Also, quick plug, if you'd like to get our completely free email and text alerts on our latest research, make sure to sign up with that first link down below. Again, this is completely free, and if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe at any time. But I think you're going to like it quite a lot, and we've got some really good reports coming in the upcoming days. Okay, let's get to work. So I want to start this video by talking about the broader squeeze that's happening in this market right now. Going into this year, a lot of analysts had a very, very bearish view and forecast for the economy and the market and projected S&P 500 as finishing much, much lower than we are even trading at right now. But now you are getting into the situation where the vast majority of analysts have substantially increased their S&P 500 year-end price forecast, and every time an analyst does this, it creates more upward momentum in the stock market, which forces more analysts to upgrade as well, squeezing a lot of the bears that had record short allocation at the beginning of this year. This is called reflexivity. Bloomberg reports, but now the complexity or what George Soros would call the reflexivity of the market takes a role. Markets can create their own reality as the index rises and influential investment houses raise their targets for it. So that adds to the momentum upwards in the share price. As in a short squeeze, the further the market rises, the harder it is for strategists to hold a Line that is now looking increasingly bearish. Now, look, I rarely take what George Soros says at face value, but reflexivity is a very well documented phenomenon. Taking the short squeeze analogy further, that means that the strategist position is very bullish for the market. 18 of the two dozen houses covered by Bloomberg's regular survey expect the S&P to decline between now and the end of the year. If and when they capitulate, that will add to the upward pressure on the market. So here you have this dynamic where bulls and bears have both been rushing to upgrade hand over fist to upgrade their price target to not look stupid as the market rallies, but as they do that, it supports more and more upward pressure. A lot of bears have even come out saying they don't agree with the market, but they have to. They just have to capitulate to the upside anyways, because if they don't, they're going to miss out on the rally, and what's going to happen? They're going to get a lot of redemptions. And this is the crucial context that we're in right now, and obviously you're seeing a massive short squeeze on the broader market, but you're going to start seeing a lot, a lot of the high short interest small cap names just really, really go parabolic. Obviously, you've seen that with Carvana, but you're starting to see a lot of other ones wake up too, and AMC is the latest example of that. Now, AMC has a specific catalyst for why it's back in the race, but nonetheless, don't mistake this as an outlier. You're going to see a lot, a lot of short squeezes in the coming weeks and months if the broader market continues to stay stable. But that does lead us to our main entree today, AMC. AMC completely exploded in the after hours on Friday. Pretty insane run. It doubled up at heights and gave back a little into the close of the after hours, but still pretty, pretty insane run. And this run was the result of a surprise court ruling that just completely, completely punched short sellers in the face. They were expecting this court ruling to go in their favor, but that's not what happened. For context, last year, AMC issued ape units which were their diluted vehicle in order to raise capital for AMC as a whole. Shareholders didn't want to approve dilution in AMC common stock, so AMC found a workaround with Ape. By issuing shares of Ape, they could raise capital. And so, of course, since Ape was the diluted vehicle, its shares have dropped like a rock. And now AMC wants to convert them back into AMC common stock, which would mean, of course, substantial dilution for current AMC shareholders. And we actually presented on this exact situation about 11 months ago. We talked about how Ape would eventually be attempted to be converted back, and that would end up meaning massive massive of dilution for AMC shareholders. But here's the thing, that process of converting has now been blocked. We'll see how long this block lasts, but so far it's been blocked. And that's a big deal. Fox Business reports, quote, a judge on Friday blocked a proposed settlement on AMC Entertainment Holdings stock conversion plan that would allow the company to issue more shares, sending its common shares soaring and preferred shares down in the after hours trading. Now, AMC two weeks from now could decide to put out a new proposal or or appeal the ruling. And in fact, as I was shooting this video, CEO Adam Aaron put out a strongly worded letter explaining that they have already filed a modification to try to force through the approval of the original plan as soon as possible. This will probably cause a pretty aggressive downturn in early trading tomorrow, but let's keep thinking about bigger picture. For now, this dilutive event is blocked. 
which is a very, very interesting window of opportunity. This is a big stinking deal because you got to remember that dilution is one of the biggest threats to the short squeeze that AMC traders and Ooga Booga enthusiasts want. Short sellers that were betting on mass and immediate dilution are now getting destroyed. Short interest has climbed steadily as the stock price has gone down since peaks in 2021, and a large portion of these shorts were likely betting on substantial dilution to bail out their positions, but the main way to dilute AMC common stock has just been blocked for the time being. So now, bulls once again have a short moment of opportunity, a short, lovely window of opportunity. Now that shorts are in this weekend position, this might be the best opportunity that AMC has had to squeeze since like 2021 when it was at meme stock heights. And you go over to the lovely options chain dating out to July 28th, you're seeing peak concentration at $4 and under. You have substantial, substantial open interest in contracts from 2 to 4 and really 450 as well. Remember the stock closed Friday at 440 a share, but the stock closed after hours at 717 on Friday. So now come market open Monday, what's going to happen? Well, all of these options up to seven bucks are going to be in the money. The highest concentrated options are going to be very, very, very in the money. And if AMC continues to hold above six or seven bucks, you're going to see market makers need to buy shares to better hedge these options and to open up new contracts at higher strike prices. Remember, that's called a gamma squeeze when market makers have to buy up the underlying shares in order to hedge their options chain. Now, the other important point that I want to point you over to is the situation with the failures to deliver. So, Ortex's estimated failures to deliver are the highest we've ever, ever seen them. Failures to deliver happen when a short seller borrows a stock to sell it short on the market, but didn't actually have the borrowed shares in the first place to do that. It's, it's sort of like pre-selling a car to a customer on a Friday and saying, oh, you could pick it up on Monday or Tuesday. You take the money on the Friday, it's in your bank account, and then the customer shows up on Monday or Tuesday. It's like, where's my car, bro? And you're like, oh, I don't have that car. That's failing to deliver on a car, and it's really the same situation when it comes down to failing to deliver on a borrowed share that you already shorted. And so when you have a massive, massive amount of failures to deliver all of a sudden, well, that probably means that there's a good chance that you got a lot of naked shorts out there, a lot of shorts that dumped onto the market without, without actually having shares borrowed to dump with. And when the price goes up, those naked shorts tend to get revealed at a rapid, rapid clip because they can't just go and buy them because they have to buy them at multiples of what they sold them at. And if there's a lot of naked shorting, well, that also means that there's probably a lot more short interest in effect than what Ortex or any of these guys is estimating. Now, it's worth mentioning that AMC is also on the threshold list. You get on the naughty, naughty threshold list when you've seen five consecutive settlement days at a registered clearing agency and failed to deliver stock totals 10,000 shares or more, and, and the failed shares equal to at least 0.5% of the total shares outstanding. And AMC is officially on that threshold list right now, and, and you can see that AMC's threshold list designation happened quite a lot in the run-up to the famous parabolic cycle for AMC stock. And so a lot of people are naturally looking at the threshold chart again, and the fact that this is the third time that we've hit that threshold list, and they're thinking, hmm, if this stock continues rallying, it could really, really cause an explosion soon to these shorts, many of which are naked and are increasingly getting backed into a corner. You open up the broader chart, AMC's original squeeze of Palooza Fest took it from 191 to 72.62. And it did, of course, dump with the rest of the market in 2021 era. Squeeze stocks and offerings and dilution through Ape didn't help much last year either. But, but this year, this stock has missed out on much of the broader market rally and much of the small cap stock rally. And the reason, in my opinion, it's missed out on the rally is because, well, people were so scared of the Ape situation and the dilution associated with that and how that would be combined at some point later on in the year. And there's also some allegations in terms of AMC rigging certain votes that allow the conversion. These things combined with the debt on AMC's balance sheet didn't do much to help make anybody excited about AMC stock. So you had a lot of short sellers who had very, very high conviction that the meme rallies of the 2021 era were gone, and that this was just going to trend down to zero as the company pushes for more and more dilution. And maybe, just maybe, they would have been right if it wasn't for this judge. But now it's a whole different ballgame. Now you have this dilution at least temporarily blocked at the same time where markets overall are very, very, very hot. Participation amongst individual investors is starting to pick up again, and more and more people are paying attention. And at the same time, the stock has missed out on much of the other rallies that have happened the last six plus months. Now, the other interesting angle that you should think about here is the broader context of the movie theater industry right now and what's going on with the Barbie and Oppenheimer release this past weekend. The New York Times put together this graph showing total weekend ticket sales in North America are 
at post-pandemic highs. And if you look at the overall trend of gross revenue from movies, it's been steadily climbing since the 2020 shutdowns, and this was the latest major breakout to a new high. They are calling this weekend the Barbenheimer weekend, and it's been a game changer for the movie theater industry. And again, timing is everything. If this happened two months ago when AMC was still expected to see massive, massive dilution, well, maybe this wouldn't have been that big of a deal. But the fact that this is happening when everything else is happening, good for AMC stock is a big deal. Whether or not you like the movie theater industry, the fact of the matter is that this is at least a win for it. And a big L for short sellers that were expecting a movie theater industry that just kind of went like this and then never came back at all. If every movie theater ceases to exist in 20 years, that doesn't really help the short sellers who need movie theaters to all go out of business in the next six months to a year to really, really, really have easy money on this. It doesn't help the ones that have been over leveraged and are now sitting on massive, massive unrealized gains. So when you see this at the same time, when all the other stuff is happening, well, that leads to a very, very rough risk profile for short sellers in this. And as the price goes up, I wouldn't be surprised to see some finally start changing their thesis. You saw what happened with Carvana, a stock that quite frankly shouldn't be going up as much as it is. Yet it is because short sellers really jumped the gun thinking that it was going to go bankrupt within like six months to a year. And in fact, well, it seems like they still got some life in them. Remember, if you're a short seller, you don't just have to be right that the company's going bankrupt, but you have to be right on the time horizon too, right? If you're going very, very aggressively short something, you got to hope and pray that it gets bankrupted like tomorrow. If not, you may have to endure some massive, massive, massive losses for many, many years. And you might not be able to endure those losses. You might be closed out. Anyways, folks, let us know what you think about AMC stock. Is it headed up more or is it headed back down? Give us a comment down below. Have a good one, folks, and I'll see you in the next video.